Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Sagittarius. So I'm just going to trust whenever this reading comes across your screen, that's when you're meant to see it. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Sagittarius, thank you, thank you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, I am open for those. My email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. We can talk about that. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on a Sagittarius, everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome, welcome, Sagittarius. What's going on? Let's get you a Moon Oracle card. Spirit, can we get a Moon Oracle card for the sign of Sagittarius? Don't let your past hold you back, the South Node. Look at that. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, what's going on with that? And bring love into the situation, the new moon in Aquarius. Oh, that's beautiful. We've got this full moon in Aquarius coming on, um, ooh, just like right about now, right? The full moon in Aquarius, the blue moon. So beautiful, beautiful. Bring love into the situation. Let's see what that's all about. Super moon, blue moon. So, wow. <laughs> in Aquarius, and I was reading since Aquarius is the opposite of Leo, uh, we're going to be bringing our dreams, bringing our dreams into reality with this, with this full moon energy. All right. Animal spirit guide. Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for the sign of Sagittarius. I love that. The elephant, the snake, and the crow. Sitting on some kind of spiritual information you've been gathering resources, bringing some kind of fire forward with you. Some kind of dream has come forward with you. You haven't let it die out. It's uh, gone into embers sometimes. It's gone to sleep sometimes, but there's something reigniting it now. You're reigniting some kind of new dream or old dream is getting reignited. The snake, the snake, you're, you're in some kind of shedding mode right now. So you're shedding the past. You're letting go of some failures from the past. Uh, but this dream has just kind of kept you going, kept you alive, kept, you've kept the dream alive here. Beautiful. Well, what is that dream? Let's see. That's beautiful. Sagittarius bringing something uh, back into focus here, back into the limelight. Scorpion, look at this. You are ready to go, ready to strike. Feeling a little bit edgy and nervous about this, though. Maybe you're just so used to this dream not working out that now that it's becoming the forefront of your attention again, it feels irritating. It's like, not you again. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Zen tarot card. Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of Sagittarius. Flowering, blossoming. Things are different now. You've matured now. So there's things that have gone on that make this uh, more practical, more logical now. So you're coming into some kind of maturity phase or growing up or um, letting go of some kind of silliness or here or something. I don't know what that is. You're just letting go of, um, let's see, let's see, <laughs> letting go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying goodbye to Sagittarius? You're saying goodbye to something and it makes you a little bit sad. I got a little bit sad there when I was talking about letting go of something here. So I'm going to look more into that. What are you letting go of? Let's see. Let's get some tarot cards. What are you thinking about? What is on your mind right now, Sagittarius? What are you thinking about? What is on your mind? <clears throat> the Queen of Cups, letting go of something, a real, real releasing now. A letting go of the way you think about it. A reprogramming here. A surrendering. Definitely an offering. There's an offering. The Queen of Cups is offering. She's offering that bread to the sea, to the, to the, uh, to Mother Earth Gaia. Interesting. What is this? What is this about? What else is Sagittarius thinking about? What is Sagittarius thinking about? My God. My God. The tower. The tower comes lying out. You are truly, truly releasing. You are surrendering. You are letting go. Going blank, rebooting, uh, starting over in the mind. Wow. It's like, it's like you've woken up. There's just some kind of something was dead and now it is awakened. It's just, you've been in this coma or you've been uh, pushing it aside or sleepwalking through something here and just bam, you're just, you're releasing it all. This is a start over, just a new, 
you. Look at this with the star energy, Aquarius energy coming out. There's that Aquarius energy again. And we've got this Aquarius full moon coming up, the blue moon, the rare, rare, uh, beautiful sturgeon uh, blue moon here. There's, there's a duality to this blue moon. Oh my God. Wow, Sagittarius, tell me more about this reboot in your mind space. Tell me more about this. Judgment. Judgment comes out. Wow, what is dead is what was dead is now awakened. The tree of life is back. Uh, uh, it has rooted. It has sprouted. It, it went dormant. It went dry. But it's back. It's back. It's been nurtured. It's been loved. It's been honored. <laughs> wow, you're bringing something back. You are bringing something back with a vengeance here. You're bringing it forward. You're not hiding it anymore. You're not ashamed of it anymore. You're uh, really, really speaking something out loud, really voicing something out loud. Wow, wow, wow. What else about this? What else about this? What else about this in the mind space, the lovers? I mean, can you believe the major arcana here? Wow. <laughs> I just kind of fan that away. The lovers, Gemini energy. I cannot believe the major arcana sitting here with the queen of cups in your mind space. Wow. Wow. You're just really letting everything go. You're just starting over. It's just like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden here. It's just all new now. You just really, um, you've woken up. You've been in some kind of uh, trance or something and you've woken up. You, you've opened your eyes. You're rubbing the sleep out of your eyes and... Uh, everything seems brand new. You know, it's just like this one of these times, uh, you know, we all have these kind of huge, huge moments, these awakenings in our life. And we get real, real prioritized. We get really, really focused on what's important. We get these things <laughs> that come out of the blue, out of the blue. And uh, when you can work through it, when you process through it, when you get to the other side of it, it makes you so, so strong. It's one of those life-changing moments, and that's what you're experiencing, whoever is resonating with this reading right now. Uh, I don't have to explain to you what it is. And it's very personal to each and every one of us. It's very, very subjective. These moments, these moments, these big moments that it's a demolishing of your old life it's a killing off of the former you it's a real um i've heard it over and over again the jesus consciousness the killing off of who you are the death of the ego here really is always what it comes down to and and an uprising of the id an uprising of the energy for you that's exactly what has happened here wow a splitting open what else in the mind space for Sagittarius do we need any more in the mind space? Oh my God, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> wow, Sagittarius. Oh my God. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. Is this like for real? You've got the Queen of Cups, the Tower, Judgment, the Lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I'm choking on my own spit here because <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Everything is different. Everything is different. You are not the same. You are not the same. You've just gone through some kind of uh, transformation or transmutation of the experiences that have gone on in your life. And they've been big experiences. You've, been, you've experienced bigger things than the average sign has to experience. You've just, you've really, really transformed and um, it's huge. It's big. It's bigger than anything you've ever gone through. And you're definitely, definitely seeing the other side of this transformation now, seeing the uh, where the path was leading you all along, where you were going all along. It's just Eureka. Eureka. Ace of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful, heart fulfilling, right? Fulfilling right in the heart space. You've got the Queen of Cups, which is very, very heart fulfilling. You're giving. It's very charitable. It's very um, giving. The the way to help ourselves is to help others. And so this is the the new you that you are moving into. The new path that you have moved into. It's helping others. It's charity. It's giving. It's um, receiving. Receiving people's emotions. Receiving what they're going through. Receiving their experiences. A big transmutation of the energy. You're very very powerful. 
and you're you're so different <laughs> you're completely different <laughs> wow midlife crises right you just you're so different you're out buying the the uh the the convertible mustangs right it's just you're completely different midlife crises maybe tell me more about this in the heart space five of cups letting go of the past page of cups really a declaration this is all about how you feel about things and letting people know how you feel you're not holding that back any longer you're not holding your uh card so close to your chest you're just revealing who you are judgment is all about being standing in your true authentic light and being who you really are here where you're not wearing any masks you're not you're not hiding anything here and you're telling people what you love about them, what you honor about them, what you respect about them. And you get that same energy right in return, Sag, right in return. But when we're hiding ourselves and, and edgy and not being able to reveal who we really are for fear of shame, for fear of rejection, for fear of um, fear of people being afraid of us because we're changing. We're not the same people that we were yesterday. And that scares people. That scares the people around us because uh, then who are they? Who are they if they can't be that same person with us, right? It just kind of causes this dominoes effect for the relationship in our lives. That's why the lovers is here in your mind space because you've really shifted this. Your, your focus primarily is on you now and how you're feeling and how you're reacting to others' actions here. It's all about our reaction here. So you've changed so much that you just, you're just almost um, unaffected. You're almost unaffected by how others are thinking about you or, or uh, feeling about your life <laughs> and your path. <laughs> where before that would have really frightened you. If somebody was afraid of the direction you were heading in, you would second guess your own decisions now. Now you're like, ah, should I have done that? Should I have said yes to that? Or should I have said no to that? You started second guessing. And um, no longer now that you've woken up, now that you understand that this higher uh, energy has been working with you all along. You're very much more receptive to it now. Wow, wow, wow. What's, what's more in the heart space? More in the heart space for Sagittarius. There's that receptivity. There it is with the Six of Pentacles. There's Leo energy and the Magician. More major arcana. You are a manifester now. You are the master of manipulating energy now. You can really, really read the room when you walk in. You, you know what they're talking about, so you can jump right in. You're very sociable right now. Very, very much uh, celebrating uh, your relationships. Your relationship's all about the relationships for you. Look at more Leo energy with the sun and then strength coming out. My God, Sagittarius. Jeez, this is huge. This is a major, major life change. This is absolutely uh, an identity crisis, but then learning who you are so much stronger that you are unbreakable on the other side of that questioning. So there was a moment, it could have been years that moment, where you really questioned who you were and what you believed in and what you thought and very impressionable, very much listening to the others, very much um, second guessing your own uh, 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 visions and what you were seeing and what you were believing, your own belief system. So that was a beautiful thing to do because it just all crashed down. It just you really you overloaded the system. You overloaded it. Uh, with so much information you were willing to receive all that it crashed the system. And now you're in this reboot. Now you're in this reboot. I can see it on the screen. Hello, hello, Sagittarius. The sky's the limit now. How do you want to start this out? How do you want to do this again? But you didn't have to die physically to do it. It's like one of those um, stories that you hear where if that hadn't happened, you were at your death, you were at your bankrupt, you were at your, uh, you were declaring bankrupt either in the mind, body, or soul, right? It was that moment where you just threw up the white flag. That was the surrendering. That was the death of it. So now you're, you, you've been reborn. <laughs> Born again. <laughs> wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Receptivity, queen of swords. You are very, very exhausted now. You're very weary now, tired. Queen of wands, you got your confidence back though. <laughs> Look at the difference. Look at the difference when we follow our dreams and our passions like the queen of wands does when we put ourselves first and we squelch those fires or what other people are thinking about us or throwing toward us. 
uh, how we can just blossom and really, really come into our own. It's just really uh, coming into your own party here, Sagittarius. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You don't feel so old. You don't feel so weak and powerless any longer. You feel young again and, and uh, ready again and eager again. And I was just listening to Louise Hay. Uh, she was doing this interview uh, years ago, and she said that she was uh, 60 years old when she opened up her own publishing company. And I was shocked by that. It was absolute, gave me so much hope. I'm 58. I'm like, yes, <laughs> you can still, it's never too late. It's never too late to just change your life. Louise Hay just really changed her own life, changed her own stars. And her upbringing was really, really horrific. But um, yeah, that's just what I, it's just, you're reborn. You're reborn. You just go from exhaustion, from fatigue, from surrendering, from throwing up that white flag to uh, that teenage hormonal, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this again. It's just so beautiful. It's just like you wiped the slate clean. <laughs> beautiful. What's in the foundation of this? King of Pentacles. I mean, really, it's just, you're so secure now. You're so solid in who you are now. It's just, you will not bend. There is no one, no one, no man by any means who is going to tell you who you are, Sagittarius. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. So really coming into your own and declaring, declaring who you are. <laughs> I am sad. Hear me roar. <laughs> God, this is great. This is great. What else? What else is in the foundation for Sagittarius? <laughs> there you are, standing on one foot now, one eye closed now with the balance like you've never had before. It just seems so easy for you now to fall into your own energy now, to really recenter now, to not get thrown out of the hustle and bustle, right? The tornado, to not get thrown out of that chaos and just isolate yourself or just keep it to yourself or just not um, get involved, right? You're just very, very much involved in your own life now, taking control, just absolutely taking control. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, Sagittarius, my God, I can't, I, I am blown away by this, by the major arcana. I just, my mind still can't even really wrap around the bigness of this energy here. It's just, I'm almost baffled. Boggled is more like it. I feel very boggled because it's so big. It's just like you've been asked to, um, it's like that mission where they ask you, okay, we're going to send you on this mission. You'll have all the money you ever wanted in your, in your life. You will have this new identity, this new start over, but you have to leave everything behind. You have to leave your family behind. You have to leave your parents behind. You have to leave things behind. It's almost like that. It's almost like you're being asked to do that, to start over. You have to really, really start over. That's, that's amazing. That's a big question. That's a big, big question. And you'll have to let me know because there is no wrong answer. There is abs absolutely no wrong answer. It's just the opportunity now with this energy, with this full moon energy on the 19th of August, 2024, you have the opportunity to wake up and have everything different, have new contracts, have new belief systems, have new um, everything you've ever wanted. <laughs> but there's going to be some sacrifice. <laughs> oh, gee, Sagittarius. What else in the foundation? <laughs> Another movie that is really in my mind right now is Nicolas Cage in that Christmas movie where he's this gazillionaire. I, I think he's a traitor or something. And um, he wakes up with married with kids to his college uh, uh, fiance. So yeah, it's something like that. It's just, it's, it's just a whole new world. It's a whole new life, a whole new life. And um, it's going to seem like it's turned inside out anyway for you, no matter what, no matter what, this is big. This is a big identity crisis. And this is a big coming out of it and really understanding who you are because of the crisis itself. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What else in the foundation? What else? Oh God, look at this, the devil, that freaking devil. Wow, wow, wow. But of course, of course, the devil does belong here. Of course, you can't have that struggle. You can't have that questioning and that chaos without the devil energy. 
beautiful, beautiful Capricorn energy coming in. Honestly, honest to God, it's just as beautiful as this tower up here in your mind space or the lovers up here in your mind space or strength in here in your heart space here to have the devil, those temptations, those addictions, those things that you thought you needed, that you thought you had to have, that you thought you could never move forward. You could never be a millionaire without that. If I didn't have that crutch, if I didn't have that connection here. So yeah, this is a big severing of that big severing of that. This is you doing it on your own and um, understanding that because when no one gives it to you, no one can take it away. <laughs> so you don't have to make any of those deals with the devil. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my God, this is huge. This is huge. This is really taking control, taking your voice back and um, saying, I'm not going to be that person anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to set myself up to feel bad about myself any longer. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not playing that queen of swords any longer, playing both sides, trying to appease all, trying to be the people pleaser, doing too much and um, exhausting myself in the meantime. No, I'm starting over. I'm doing this. I am doing this. I am ready. I am ready. I have conquered the devil and I'm ready to stand on my own, stand on my own Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What else in the foundation for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? The <laughs> fool. <laughs> oh my God. This whole story has been about the fool energy. It has all been leading up to the fool energy and the three of pentacles. Wow. A new beginning in how you process things, a new way to do things. The, the three of pentacles is all about preparation and planning for the future here, but you have a future. Now there was a moment in time where you were so stuck in the addictions. You were so stuck in the sickness that there was no future. There was nothing to really look forward to. And you, you changed all of that. You, you really changed your stars here, Sagittarius. This it's huge. It's huge. If you've been following me and following along with my Sagittarius readings, uh, have we ever, ever had this many major arcana in one reading? I mean, I just don't remember it ever happening. So my God, my God, this is a brand new you. You've got that uh, uh, a new smell to you, Sagittarius, <laughs> the new sign smell. <laughs> and uh, you're just this toddler now walking uh, forward, gathering new beliefs, gathering new relationships, new things to believe in and laugh at and have some joy here and have some fun here. It's not uh, just so chaotic as it has been and what pushed you here and what drove you here and those things that uh, made you feel so tied up, so bound, so uh, restricted and trapped those trappings, those trappings that we all fall into. You're just really sacrificing those the most by saying goodbye to your past. You're saying goodbye to those trappings. It's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I'll go through withdrawals. It's not worth it. I just want to be free of you. I want to be free of you. I want to move forward without you. And you do that. You absolutely do that. You really are letting go of the trappings, those things that keep us back, that hold us back, that devil on our shoulder. You can't do it without me. You can't do it without me. It's a lie. It's a lie. And you figured it out. And now you are just free. You're free. You have broken those shackles. So proud of you, Sagittarius. So proud of you. <laughs> All right, I don't think we need any clarification, right? This is just ridiculously big, a huge transformation, a whole new you, a whole new you and the way you feel about things and what you're revealing to others. It's a beautiful, beautiful revelation of you, a coming out party for sure. Six of Wands, everyone's celebrating, the crowd goes wild. Sagittarius, and I am going wild. I am wild for you. I'm sending you all my love, 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 and light. Sagittarius, I'll definitely tune in with you soon. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.